welcome to ssrs training in this session we will be learning how we can build a dashboard so to begin i'll add a blank report limit as dashboard I have a data query here uh, which will give me sales transactions of adventure works I'll use this data query to make a data set before that I need to create a data source already I have a data uh, shade data source so we'll point to it have a data source now a data set Okay, so this is my this is my data. So to make dashboard, we can have different chart controls, maybe like a text box, which says annual sales. This is my annual sales. So the font. Then I'll pull a table. When we want to ring, I said dashboard, then why this table? You'll understand shortly. In this table, first I will show product name, then country, product name, and the country name. and here sales amount so this is complete picture at once overall sales and here I see a detailed view now this detailed view I will modify with chart controls chart controls that help in creating a dashboard like data bar spark line indicator and gauge so using different chart controls now I will make a dashboard out of this data so what I will do in place of sales amount I will pull a data bar so a data bar is a comprehend chart control of the chart type so the chart type we saw data bar right so it's the same data bar but it is a comprehend so here you will not have a legend uh, axis title all such so this now we will see this so now I add a bar like this see it so based on the amount of sales it will show me the size of the bar so the more the length of the bar the more the sales amount the less the size of the bar less sales amount less sales transaction so this is how this works so this is a miniature version of bar chart so you go to chart properties you can select the petal you want So the regular chart property still apply 
the only that you don't see labels but still you can control uh, axis labels like x axis and y axis vertical and horizontal axis if you ever you want you can convert this to a full chart like this so you'll have everything chart title all that stuff now here the main idea is to have a dashboard in place so I will use this comprehend version so this is data bar so I can have a vertical bar or a horizontal bar so the one which I used now is a horizontal bar it can be even stacked we saw in earlier sessions what is stacked bar now next I will put here tax amount so now I want to see uh, is tax o overly charged or undercharged or medium charged so I want an indicator to tell me whether I am paying high tax or okay average tax or low tax which is beneficial right so in such scenario what I will do I will use an indicator so indicator has multiple indications like this different symbols so the basic common symbol is like this three arrows down arrow with red indicates that it's no uh, average I mean below normal yellow normal green above normal so likewise I can have like this in two mark symbols so different shapes are available for indicators so I'll go with this indicator so the beauty of this indicators is itself decides the ranges now you see I just placed the indicator there now it is telling me that here it is above normal it is here it is below normal right so how is it able to tell that it has set its own limits we can see that here indicated properties now you see value and scales it has set like this from 0 to 33 this is a range in percentages this is in percentages anything which falls in 30 to 16 this and this so this how it has set percentages and based on that the values it is applying the indicator yeah so maybe the sales guy will directly go into this or look at here okay so this is the average okay I will look at this transaction so instead of looking at everything it is an eye-catchy kind of it will immediately pull the attention of uh, analyzer data analyzer we have such things in place